Hey guys, quick screencast on formatting spreadsheets. Since the purpose of a spreadsheet is to either solve a business problem or present some data to someone else, one of the first things you should do is properly format your spreadsheet. So here we have a basic spreadsheet that has some data that's been imported in but not formatted. Some of the first things you'll want to do is resize the columns to make sure that you can view all the labels and values that are in the columns. To do this, we can click on the top left corner of the spreadsheet and double click on the boundary between any two of the column headings. What that will do is it will resize all the columns to fit the data that's inside them. The next thing we can do is we can highlight a row, for example, the first one that has the labels, and we can bold the contents of that row, indicating that it's a header row or a label for each of the columns. We could do the same for the first column to make it bold. You might have to click it twice since it's going to unbold the student ID label the first time and then bold everything the second time. And now what we have is the column headings and the row headings in bold, indicating that those are the headings themselves. Now, if we scroll down, we're going to lose the headings. And if we scroll to the right, we're going to lose the row headings. So what we want to do is freeze the data so that the headers on both the rows and columns will stay fixed and the data will be the part that scrolls. So we do this by clicking on the first row below the header and the first column to the right of the row headers. And then we go to the View tab and click on Freeze Panes. And you'll see there are options for freezing the top row in place, the first column in place, or both. So we click on Freeze Panes. And now when we scroll down, the column headers stay visible. And when we scroll to the right, the student ID stays visible. Next, we'd like to rename this sheet in the spreadsheet to something descriptive of the contents. We do that by double clicking on the tab, typing in new name, such as grade or grades, and pressing enter. 